Has the loss of last year's grand final still in your mind? Yeah, that's what I think made the team all that more determined not to lose this one. You know, it's no use coming two years of football and losing two years grand finals, just like Parramatta and Sydney. Can't do it. OK. The feeling of the South's back line, and if Malcolm Meninga fires this afternoon like he did last week with this near try, Valleys could be in trouble. He got chased by Backer. He shoots Backer! He might score! Oh! No, it's a touch! And uh, here's the Southern, Southern, Southern Suburbs team taking the field right now. And have a listen to the crowd. Gibson at fullback, Graham and Bracken on the wings, Meninga and Ashton in the centres, Keeley and Sol of the halves, Arger Ross at lock forward, Weir and Lumby in the second rows, Kellaway and Brown the props, David Gould and uh, there's the team, Mills at fullback, Neil and Falvey on the wings, Close and Whelan in the centres, McWhirter and Strabick the halves, Lewis at lock forward, Sommer and McLeod the second rowers, Duggan and McGinn as the props and Paul Richards the hooker of course, David. There it goes from Eddie Ward and Valleys have the kickoff, Lewis sends it well downfield, Tony Gibson under the ball for the first touch for Southern Suburbs. As we said previously, a capacity crowd. I'd say all of 35,000 people. And the first penalty goes to Southern Suburbs. And listen to the Southern Suburbs supporters. No score to either side. McQuota, Stradwick, long one to Mills. Chris Close, Close will score. Yes. Great football for the Jude Valley. Close has scored the first try. Valley three. South still. The first try of the 1979 Grand Final to Fortitude Valley. And a great piece of work from Fortitude Valley. Strudwick dummies McGuinness. There's McGuinness. Goes to Mills. Quick pass. Mills. Close has just pulled in from behind him. They can't catch him. He's too strong and too fast. And Close scores the first try with it. Has to judge the breeze. And I think he's judged it. Beautiful kick. Valley fans in the outer. Very happy with that one. In this 79 grand final, and Valley's leading South by five points to nil. One try. Studley puts the chip in. Lewis is after it. Could get a bounce. Takes it. Finds McWhorter. Now he shoots it inside of Studley. He's overrun it. And Meninga has it. Here it is on the end on replay. Down goes Sommer. And there's Weir coming in. Trying nothing vicious in it. Just trying to slow up the play. And a bit of a boo for Neil, but that's all the way. The Valley supporters have something to cheer about. Valley 7, South nil. There's Wayne Bennett up on the end tower. We've got up there, the Rick Air Tower. And he's uh, get a bird's eye view from there as he likes watching the play from behind, the, uh, behind his own side. Just inside their own quarter, Southern Suburbs. Kellaway, Connell, long one to Meninga. Meninga gives it now to Bracken. Bracken comes infield, fires it back to Astell. Good football, Southern Suburbs. Southern Suburbs players are Queensland representatives, so plenty of experience out there in both sides. Penalty going to Fortitude Valley. And of course, McNeil will kick for goal. The rooms is about eight minutes of play left in the first half. McNeil, it might sneak over. It does. It hardly got further than crossbar height all the way. But three out of three to McNeil. And nine points to nil. Valley leading south with about eight minutes of play remaining in the first half, David. George, I think. It looks good. No goal. No goal. Valley still lead by nine points to nil. Bush with the ball now. Half time, precious seconds away. There it is. Referee Ward heard it. John Solar back inside of Mal Connell. Can they score after the bell? Connell, how it goes to Argyros, to Bracken. He looks inside. He's away inside the corner. Lewis is after him. Mills is after him. He lost the ball. Oh, what a way to end the first half. Valleys lead at half time by nine points to nil. Bracken can't believe it. Valleys nine. South nil. He'll get that one pointer over that he was attempting for. I think uh, South would uh, find it very hard psychologically to uh, fight on in this match. Moon, room to move now. Keeley's through the gap. Meninga looming on his outside. What a tackle. Wally Lewis. Three left in his lot of six. Paul Richard to dummy half. John McLeod. 
John McLeod is the try scorer. It was inevitable, David. Yes, George, and here it is on replay. And McLeod, they used the blind side, and McLeod charges hard, and that's determination because he had to go through two South defenders and sneaks across and just gets the ball down. McNeil moves in for the conversion. Taking his time, he's kicked three out of three. Four out of four. Had to wait for that one. She just dropped through and that was all. 14-0. Valley's leading with about 14 minutes of play left in the 1979 BRL Winfield Grand Final here at Lane Park. And you're watching Channel O's action. David Brown in our pre-match interview said that they held no fears for each other or for any other man on the field. And by golly, both of them have played that way, David. Yes, it's been a very strong Six match. Go, Wally Lewis to McClurda. What about that Wally Lewis as a footballer? McClurda puts it down. I think he might have knocked it on, George. I think he's fairly lucky. lucky. We'll soon find out on the replay if he has. But uh, Eddie Ward will take it slowly. Where you go. And here's McClurda. McClurda to Lewis. Lewis comes to the defence and he's decided he's got to put the little kick in. He gets past one. There's the little kick. And no, it did come off a south Touched hand. by, uh, yeah, by Brian Weir. Weir. Yes. Oh, he's definitely right. I thought it was Lewis's hand when I first saw it. The look, look, at, the look at Bob Kellaway trying, trying, trying to get hold of him. And as we said before, it takes a brilliant player like two converted tries in the space of four minutes in the second half, the 25th and the 29th minute. A field goal from Wally Lewis, an extra point, thinking all the time, has all the skills, as Des Morris said. Lewis with a big grin on his face now. An extra point, Valley's lead by 20 points to nil. Richards, Studwick. A drop and goal. Another one. An extra one point. 21 points to nil. Two field goals. And it's a long time since we've seen field goals. And Des Morris has sweet memories of field goals. 72, Des. Tell us about it. Well, it was a bit later than this, I think, in the game. And uh, Jeff Weiss plucked one out of uh, nowhere. We won the game 16-15. But that was uh, eight years ago. And, and that was against Fortitude Valley. That was against Fortitude Valley, that's right. Neil, Lewis, long floating pass. If they pick it up, they'll score. Whelan picks it up on the bounce. The Wally Lewis pass. The rugby union. Background of Wally Lewis. A beautiful torpedo pass. Just watch how far it goes. There's Lewis. It goes a good 25 metres. Rick Whelan just has to accept it to score the try. Four tries. 24 points to nil. And um, also Peter McQuirter, as I said, in the defensive department. McNeil converts it and makes it six out of six. And the score, 26 points to nil, turning out to be a real trashing. Grand final will never be the same ever again, Des. Uh, as you can see, there's uh, thousands of uh, kiddies running on the field now. And uh... Well, George, I thought it was really Valley's defence in the... Uh, early part of the second half that saved the game for them and South threw everything at them it was Valley's defence that held and then after it held they just hit the accelerator and their attack was much too good Trudwick for the $100 Metro Ford man of the match Ross was in everything and must be a very happy man right at this moment Thank you David what a tremendous win mate it was only 12 months ago almost to the second that most of us guys were sitting here with tears in our eyes and wondering well will we stick together or won't we stick together I sound like a politician um, here we are 12 months later and we've got it under our belts what a tremendous win mate that's bloody tremendous fellas let's hear the song eh? Good. 